Did you know that if you take this one medication, you can get a sunburn 10 times faster? This is because of a reaction that is caused by the medication that causes photosensitivity. Hi, I'm Chantel and I'm also a pharmacist who owns a skincare company. So let's talk about something not often talked about by most skincare brands. It turns out there are so many medications that can affect your skin and you may not even know it. I'm here to reassure you, it's not you. It really is them. The first medication up on my list most often goes by the name Bactrim. Bactrim is a combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. It's often used to treat urinary tract infections. Bactrim is also used in some respiratory infections such as bronchitis and few pneumonias. Sometimes it can also be prescribed for traveler's diarrhea. Yep. So while this drug is unleashing its unrelenting death wrath on harmful bacteria trying to take over your body, thank you modern medicine, there is a potential side effect silently waiting to take place in your skin. Thanks to sulfamethoxazole's super tiny molecular size, this molecule wiggles its way inside bacteria to disrupt its reproduction. And that's great, but it also finds its way inside our skin cell, which is, could not be so great. Normally, sulfamethoxazole is harmless inside a skin cell because it only attacks the function of bacterial cells, not humans. But this tiny molecule is susceptible to getting excited or activated by sunlight. When the energy of the radiation from the sun is absorbed by the small sulfamethoxazole molecule inside our skin cell, the molecule bursts into pieces. The pieces are like tiny chemical shrapnel inside our skin cells, causing our cells to burst themselves. The end result is skin that is damaged and looks like a bad sunburn. The more sun you're exposed to, the worse it gets. The potential for blisters is high. The main difference between this photosensitivity caused by Bactrim and the sunburn is that when we get burned by the sun, many parts of the skin cell are absorbing the radiation, causing a disruption and cell death. This can damage the DNA of our skin cells, affecting future generations of cells as well. Whereas the cells killed by the exploding Bactrim does not affect the DNA and therefore it doesn't necessarily cause skin cancer. The takeaway here is, if you're taking Bactrim, you need to be very diligent about sun protection while on this antibiotic, especially if you have light skin that is sun sensitive to begin with. It's best to wear a hat and protective clothing because even sunscreen might not help. <laughs>